I mentioned in the past that I keep my video game collection down here in my game room, but we still have a Nintendo Switch up in our living room that we go ahead and play Mario Kart, Super Mario 3D Land, and other games on the Nintendo Switch. Well, I'm fat, I'm old, I'm lazy. I don't want to run up and down my stairs here between my basement and my living room to go ahead and swap out games. I also have an almost five-year-old who does not keep track of stuff. So as such, being able to keep everything neat, clean, and organized as far as my games collection between here and there, super important. Now, I know some of you might say, just buy digital. You don't own digital games. It's an extended rental that they can remove from you at any point in time. <sighs> okay, breathe. But check out Adam Korok, he's got an amazing video on that. Check that out, please. But my solution for a while has been the team over at Unitech offers an adapter for the Nintendo Switch dock that allows you to store four Nintendo Switch cartridges and have another four that you can bounce back and forth to basically select what games you want. I can have eight games at my fingertips at any point in time. We generally just use the four that are available to play that we can swap through. That way, again, games don't get lost. Well, Unitech is at it again, and they've just sent us their latest Switch accessory. This is the game card reader and docking station for the Nintendo Switch. And when I hear docking station, I'm thinking this is an all-in-one unit, so this will replace our Nintendo Switch dock. In theory, we're gonna find that out here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take this out of the box, see how it comes out of the box, we're gonna check out everything that this does, and we're gonna put it through its paces. Now, Unitech did send us one of these for review. I do wanna thank them for supporting the channel and doing that. They're not reviewing any of this content before it goes live. They don't get editorial approval, anything along those lines. I'm excited to check this out. I just realized that this actually said docking station as I'm standing here in front of my camera because I'm a dumbass and didn't realize this was also a dock. I was wondering, what's the difference between this and the other one we recently reviewed? Let's find out. So here we have the Unitech Switch Dock and Game Card Reader with remote control on the bench. And just for comparison, this is what I've used from them in the past. So check out our two videos that we have on both the original and the new one with remote control. So this allows you to play four games and then store four more powered by USB-C. And this just goes right into the Nintendo Switch itself. I'm hoping this is more of the same in here. Um, Let's take a look. So in here, and I'll admit I have actually had this out of the box before for our YouTube short to talk about this. So here is the dock itself. Very clean lines. I am liking what I am seeing here. Uh, overall, we have you know just a little cover here that covers the USB-C port. There is your USB-C port there. Looks like two little LED lights right there and there. On the back, let's take a look, because this is pretty cool looking. So here we have game one, two, three, and four. So it has four integrated cartridge slots, a fifth slot here just for storage, your HDMI out. This is, I believe, HDMI 2.0. So it will, technically speaking, the dock is capable of outputting 4K. As we all know, the Switch itself is not. Um, this does have an Ethernet port. Uh, for Ethernet connectivity, three USB-A ports, and then there is a USB-C female port on this side for power, and it looks like there's another on this side. I'm hoping this means, well, this shows battery, so we'll see what that means in the manual in just a moment. Elsewhere in the box, we have a USB-A to C cable. We have, aha, yes, I was hoping this would be the case. And we do have another remote control. So just like your other more recent switcher that I've tested out, this allows you to switch games from the comfort of your chair or your couch so you don't have to get up. And with this, it's just a, a simple puck design. You hit the button there, you see the little LED light that'll cycle you through. Um, I love this, I absolutely love this. And again, in lieu of an actual manual, it has a scan here to download the user manual. And we're actually gonna do that here because I wanna see what that other USB-C port is all about. So this actually just takes me to the website, doesn't take me to the product page. So here we have the option to view the uh, manual in English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, uh, Dutch, and I believe that's Japanese. So, on the side here, that is for USB-C PD 100 watt power supply, so that is cool. 
So walks you through if you ever need to change the battery function. Product for the Switch game console expansion support, but okay. Nothing really wild here. Does confirm right here HDMI 2.0 support. Uh, 4K, 30 hertz backwards compatible. So uh, again, the Switch though is only compatible with 1080p, at least at this time. We'll see if we get a 4K upgrade down the road. And that's pretty much it. I wish it did have a little bit more detail as far as the power supply. So number 10 here says support PD 3.0 version, power supply maximum power 100 watt. That is 20 volt, five amp PD power supply, 45 watt, including or more withhold four, five watt, 45. Less does not withhold. That's really bad translations. All right, so with that out of the way, let's bring the dock back in here. And we're gonna test it out with both my Switch and my Switch OLED, just as far as initial fitment here goes. What I like is the fact that it does provide support on the back here for the body of the system. And it's not just relying on this little lip here or the USB-C port. And this is my original Switch. We're just gonna drop it right on. Dude, that lines up perfectly. And now that we have it on the dock itself, we're gonna go ahead and just plug it in here. Now this is kind of a, a short-ish fit, at least on the original Switch. Maybe another inch or two on this would be nice just to have a little bit of play, uh, but it does keep everything kind of nice, tidy, compact to itself. Let's pop this out. We're gonna pop the Switch OLED in. And how you can tell this is an OLED kickstand there. And then versus the original Switch, which has just the little puny, wimpy little kickstand right there. Shout out to Lee Morrison, puny, wimpy, sissy little motors. And then with that, slides right on again. Do I have a game cart in here? I do not. Let's see if this is any better. Okay, so there's that. So before we actually go and test it out, let's check and see how the game fitment is in the back of this. So we have, let's see, this is Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. That goes in beautifully. This is Crash Insane Trilogy. That's beautiful too. Kaze and the Wild Masks. And the TMNT Kaobunga Collection. I'm gonna actually throw this here just for a second. That's a tighter fit than the rest of those are, and it is not spring-loaded. I wish they would add a spring to that just for convenience sake, but it works there perfectly so and yeah that is a nice clean look and everything uh, we are going to play a couple quick games i'm going to show you just how everything works uh, really quick as well now for power on this i'm not going to use a third party power supply i absolutely 100 percent without a doubt swear by the fact that you need to be using the oem nintendo switch power supply on stuff like this and i happen to have one right about somewhere over right there. There we go. So we're gonna use this. All right, so we do have everything set up now, ready to rock and roll. Now, one issue that I did run into that is not covered in the manual, I have a Unitech know, and, and it's one of the reasons why I'm glad that I'm doing this video too, is to kind of help spread the awareness of this. So looking at the dock, it looked like it could either be powered by a PD 3.0 or a five volt input it needs both and that's what the usb a to c pigtail is for so i just went to one of the usb a's into the uh, five volt input on the uh, as you're looking at the dock at the left hand side the right hand side has got your input and now as you can see here it works just fine so if you have an issue where it's charging and you're in tabletop mode or if you can connect to the tv but you can't switch any of the games that's your problem you need to make sure that you have that connected now uh, we do have our switch uh, set up here and i have the remote right here and as you can see we're going to flip between now there's crash and the insane trilogy there is super mario brothers u deluxe there is the cowabunga collections and then we are back to the beginning after our fourth press here and then back to kaze and the wild mass which we are going to dive into right now and just see, how does it play? Now, I have not spent as much time with Kaze and the Wild Mass as I would want to, uh, just been so busy. But this is one of those games, I love the art style. It, 
And part of it is because it's a rabbit, of course, but part of it kind of reminds me of Tiny Toon Adventures. Um, you know, I love the, the, the look, the audio is great as well. It's just a fun and quite honestly, really a pretty game. Also, in some ways, kind of reminds me of Shantae a little bit with the art style. Uh, nice thing here is, you know, I'm not feeling any, you know, lag, latency, delay. The colors look right. The audio is sounding great. You know, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. And I'm honestly not surprised. I've been really happy with the Unitech stuff that I've tested up to now. Um... But again, like I say, the, the main thing on here, make sure you are using the OEM Nintendo Power Supply. Uh, you know, good quality HDMI cables will never hurt. Uh, you know, we are using what are rated as 8K HDMI cables on a really a 1080p display. And we are in the bonus stage where we have to collect all crystals. No! Alright, let's go. Got him! So Kaze and the Wild Mask looking and playing beautiful. So we're going to pause, go back to home. Now I am going to exit out of there. Now you can't just scroll over and select the next cartridge. You do actually still have to grab the remote control and hit the button to swap out to the next game. We're going to go into the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Such a great collection. Now, it does not look as sharp as my PlayStation 5, but you know what? This still looks really, really good. Aku Aku. Oh, jumped a little bit too early there. Don't you laugh. I know that you've done that same thing. Yeah, this is playing beautifully as well. You know, nothing... You know, I didn't expect anything out of the norm like I just mentioned. I guess I'm repeating myself, but... I mean, that's one of the good things about this is... Like... I was expecting this to be really good, and guess what? It's really good! What's not really good? My level of gameplay, because I kind of suck. We're getting all the boxes, collecting all the apples that we can. And I missed my jump there again, because, well, I suck. So we're going to go back to the main menu. We are going to... Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what happens if you don't close the game out and you go to Switch, because it is possible to do that, which is evil, bad, evil, bad, evil, bad. We'll let you know the software was closed because the game card was removed. But now we can dive into some new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. Such a fantastic game. I mean, I I love this on the Wii U, and I love it on the Switch, and it's just, it's fun. It's one of those games that I've kind of used to bide my time before Mario Wonder comes from Santa Claus. Or Mrs. Santa Claus, as it were. Yeah, once again, this is looking great, playing great. Although, I do want to check the controls. Aha! That's what I don't want. I want that. Yes, that's what I want. Yeah, this is, like, it's fantastic. I mean, if you would not tell me that I would have anything in between the cartridge and the Switch, I would not know. And in the end, that's kind of what you want, you know? Oh, I can't get up there. There's got to be something to get me up there. It's been too long since I've played this. There we go. Mario's got back. I always thought the new Super Mario Brothers games also just had terrific music. I've always been a fan of the music in these games. Oh, nope. I thought that there was something down there, and there wasn't. So, 
All right, we're going to go back to home. So that works quite well. And we'll dive into the TMNT collection. Now we're going to dive into TMNT Turtles, the Cowabunga collection, just to kind of finish off our little test here. And what do I think of it? So uh, for the money, this is really a good value for what you are getting. Um, Unitech has this listed for $100 on their website. It's under $75 on Amazon at the time of this filming. Pricing can change. Um, just as a heads up there. I do wish the manual were a little bit more clear as far as what you need to do with that USB A to C uh, pigtail. It took me about half an hour to kind of figure it out. And I'm looking at it, it's like, oh, yeah, this this is necessary too, isn't it? Um, so, I, you know, I, I do wish that that was a little bit more transparent. Um, the functionality of it is terrific, though. Um, it looks great. It plays great. Um, now, I personally don't have a need for the... We're going to play Turtles 4. Uh, I personally don't have a need for the hardwire Ethernet connection, but especially for those of you who have an original Switch, um, that's a great feature to have built into this for you. Um, and we are going to pick Michelangelo because... Uh, or Dantel, I mean, because he is the best. And we are going to head to the Big Apple at 3 a.m. Which for 3 a.m. it's awfully bright out. Um, you know it. I I like the fact that it does still have the cartridge storage on it, kind of like their standalone adapters. Um, you know that's terrific. Um, yeah, I I it just there's not much I don't like about this. Um, it would be nice to see different colors. I will say that I understand. You know tooling and, and molding and injection uh, molds and whatnot that's those are not cheap um, so being able to do it in a different color you know I, I wouldn't think that they would need a new mold for that It'd just be a matter of whatever they would inject into the the mold itself um, now I'd like something in you know that that red like I've got my Mario switch OLED you know it's one of the bummers this this will wind up in my living room you know I would really like to be able to have you know that theming still there even though there's not much to that switch dock um, you know having something that would fit or, or kind of be in line with that system would be nice um, I like the size too I mean it's super portable so if you're looking for something to take with you on a vacation or you know into a hotel say you're going to a gaming convention uh which is where i can see using this quite a bit uh you know, definitely nice there too without a doubt make sure you're you're using the oem nintendo power supply that's that's non-negotiable on these um that's something that was discovered quite some time ago um now i have not read the warranty so i don't know if unitech is offering any kind of like brick fee free warranty on this or or anything along those lines. I will say most of the issues that were found to be had six and seven years ago with the switch docks from third parties bricking systems had to do with out of spec power supplies that were not adjusting the voltage properly. Um, any dock can brick any switch. But the risk is so rare. Like you could even brick your switch with the OEM Nintendo one. Mine did the very first year I had it. I remember I took it into work. We we're going to play Use Your Words, and it bricked um, when I connected everything up to the included power supply. That's with the official first-party Nintendo one. It can happen. Um, but the biggest thing, again, there, make sure you're using the proper power supply from Nintendo themselves. Um, and that's one of the reasons, too, why you see so many third-party Power, or Nintendo Switch docks now no longer include a power supply because they they even acknowledge like just use the Nintendo one and you'll be fine. Come on, Baxter, die, die, fly, die. Now one final test I'm going to do here in a second, um, and I will say responsiveness to this has been quite good. Um, I am going to fire up some Street Fighter 2 here in a second just to test up 
you know, lag, latency, delay. That's just one of my, you know, go-to tests. After we defeat Baxter Stockman here, you... You bug me, man. Shoe fly, don't bother me. You belong to my friend Link. Name in the movie. Kawabunga! Okay, so we are going to go home. We're going to go all software. Drop down here to Street Fighter 2. The 30th anniversary collection. Now, this isn't utilizing the game cart portion to test responsiveness at all. You know, that just... It's just not doing that. What this is doing is for the video portion of it. How does it feel? How is it responsiveness that way? Do, 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 do. Let's see. Ryu versus DJ. Ugh. Um, so far, so good for responsiveness, I'd say. Oh, nice. Toss you very much. Now, I did not try the Dragon Uppercut there at all, but very, very responsive. I will try the Dragon Uppercut this time. Ooh, nice first strike. Oh, DJ! Ah, We're going to go to round number three. Ooh, he's got me cornered. Oh, he got me. Um, Yeah, overall, I got to say responsiveness is pretty good. I'm just not. So what do I think about the Unitech game card reader and dock for the Nintendo Switch and Switch OLED? Well, I love the fact that they took what made this so great, their card switcher dealio that they have, and combined it with what was good about the original Nintendo Switch dock and what was great about the Switch OLED dock having that ethernet connection and basically merged all of these three, ah, form the head. Voltron reference, sorry, uh, but merge these all into one exceptional device. And the fact that it does have that remote control as well that you can toggle through, but you can also go ahead and manually switch it here too. Like now we should see, yep, there you go, there's that. I'm just hitting the toggle button on the back of the unit itself. I love the fact that you have two fully usable USB connections in addition to the one that you do need to utilize for power supply to the dock itself. Now that is one area where Unitech can improve things and I've already given them that feedback that if they can make that a little bit more transparent that you need to plug in both the power supply and that separate USB A to C cable that'll make it work for you just perfectly. Um, it only has one extra storage slot versus their original cartridge switch that had four different cartridge storage options in addition to the four you could play. I'm okay with that. For me, quite honestly, I'm just utilizing the cartridges that are active in use. I'm not using the storage on either this one or their newer version with the remote controller. Um, overall, this is a great little dock. It performs well, it looks great, it plays great. And again, I can't emphasize this enough. If you're going to use a third-party dock or really any dock with the Nintendo Switch, use the OEM Nintendo Power Supply. If you do that, you're gonna be in good shape. Now, I do wanna thank Unitech for sending us one of these for review. Now, they don't check these videos out before they go live. They see it pretty much the same time that you, the general public, do. Now, one thing that you can do as well, if you wanna pick one of these up, I will have a link down below in a pinned comment to our Amazon affiliate storefront where you can go ahead and pick one up. And when you do that, it actually helps support the channel couple pennies here and there, every little bit helps. Now, unfortunately, there is no discount at this point in time, but it's one of those, like I say, it does help support the channel. And quite honestly, looking at Amazon versus their website, Amazon's the cheaper option, at least right now, at around $75. Now, at $75, it is a bit of an investment to get into. I mean, it's pretty much the same price as the OEM docks, but they don't have the extra functionality of the cartridge switcher like this does. Um, so that's nice to have that all built into there. I really, really do like it. Now, if you wanna check out some of the other videos that we've done talking about Unitech products like 
their cartridge switchers, some of their other docks, and more. I will have those playlists linked for you right up here. Go ahead and check those out. I'm sure you're going to find something you're going to love.